Hello AWS friends! In this short tutorial let's see how to use the Secrets Manager within a Fargate service or a W batch. So you can store your secrets in AWS in the Systems Manager or either in the Secrets Manager which is even better because you can rotate your passwords there and therefore we have to see how we can use these secrets in our services, respectively a Fargate service or AWS batch service. There are three ways how you can uh, actually do this. Though the first way is using the AWS Secrets Manager SDK. The second way is the AWS Secrets Manager JDBC library, which is also gonna work. And the most um, easy way, or also the way I would recommend is using environment variables in your service or in your tasks or batch shops and we're gonna see all of these three uh, ways how to do this. You find all resources for this tutorial in my GitHub account and below this video. So for example, this is a little Spring Boot service which you can deploy uh, which contains all the code for the three ways to connect or to use the secrets manager. So you need a database. I have created a RDS database, a MySQL database. Um, of course, it's a good idea to check the connectivity in advance. So this is my database. It's in a public, private, in a public subnet to keep it easy so I de don't need a Bastion host and as we can see database is working and we need to create of course a secret so you find it in the secrets manager where you can create a new secret for example RDS database you can set user and password and you can select already existing databases in my case I have already created this secret. You can set up rotation. We don't need it yet for this simple example, but of course this is the most useful feature here. You can retrieve the secret value. So this is my simple password I have chosen here. Of course you should use a better one or an automated generated password. You find the host, the port, the DB name and all the important settings for a connection string to connect to your database in the secret. I'm using a simple Spring Boot application to test the database connection and the secret manager connection um, ways. So we have a Spring Boot application, we have a application listener, in our case I named it database property listener where we do these readings of the secrets or the environment variables later on. I have a simple entity, very easy, with name and email. I have a repository, Spring repository to find the person by name. And I have a simple REST endpoint. One is only returning a string, hello, and the second one is using the database, trying to find an entry by name and then respond this. Normally, on the Spring Boot application, you would set up the connection parameters as parameters here in your application properties. But since we have secrets which are rotating, we cannot use this approach. And therefore we're going to see how to do this with Secrets Manager. The first approach is using the Secrets Manager SDK. So this means in our POM of our application we need this dependency, the SDK for the Secrets Manager and we find the sample code how to use this already here in our secret where we find some snippets for Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby and Go and the code you can see in here you will also find in my database properties listener here in reading secrets using SDK. This is this method 
getting the secret here and this is the code basically from the secret ma manager um, template code so what are we going to do we need the secret name you can find the secret name here uh, we need uh, the region and of course we need to set up a AWS configure we have to we need the credentials to use these secrets of course the role for the Fargate or for the batch service will also need the policy to use the secrets manager and now let's try this locally so what this code is gonna do after reading the secrets from the secrets manager with the SDK it's gonna read by um, the JSON which is gonna be returned from the secrets manager from the secret the values which you find in here the keys so the username the passport the host the port the engine and the DB name and it's gonna create complete connection string we're gonna see this in the systems out and then we're gonna put in our properties file actually these three values values we're gonna include this in here and this way um, which gonna be happen before the spring application is gonna be started will enable the spring boot application to find these values in here and finally start let's run our application locally Now we're getting to the point reading the secrets and as you can see here in the system out we already received the password from the secrets manager this is the connection string which was created and by this connection string and the password and the user Spring Boot is now connecting and the application started with success let's verify So this is the output from the REST endpoint. So it's finding the entry in the database and it's giving this return. Or here's also a simple hello message which you can find here. So this works pretty fine. To make this work in Fargate, there's an important point. You need in your task definition a execution role which has the policy to read the secrets manager. First of course you need the execution role to enable the container itself to get the AWS in, um, credential and of course you need also the um, rights to read from the um, secrets manager. So here we see our task definition. We can see a task definition role and now let's have a look in our task definition role so I am also using a S3 policy <coughs> because I have another example code in there to copy S3 files but this is not important for this example but what we can see beneath the Amazon AC2 task execution role policy is the secrets manager policy and this is allowing the service to get secret value and to decrypt the secret. The next approach is using the AWS Secrets Manager JDBC library. So we have to add this dependency to our Spring Boot project. Next, of course, we have to comment this code out. So we don't want um, this code is going to be included by this database listener and now the change is with this JDBC secrets manager library normally you would have these parameters you would have a data source URL which would be looking like something like this the 
host name the port or of course our AWS connection string name using the JDBC library means you need these three values in your properties and the first one um, is URL and, and it's not like it's normally with Spring Boot or with JDBC, JDBC MySQL. Now it's going to be JDBC Secrets Manager MySQL. And now you're using the connection string of the database. You need this driver class. So there is a different class, uh, driver to use to connect to the database. And you have to set the username to the name of your secret. Now let's try and start this application and see if this approach is also going to work. So the application is up. Let's have a look. Let's refresh this page. And yes, there's a return. And it can also connect to the database so, these were the first two approaches using the SDK and the JDBC um, to read secrets from the Secrets Manager. Now, let's see the third approach using environment variables. See you in the second part of the video.